Hello, I'm Dominic Walker, JMW's Inside Man. My guest today is Lucy Marlow. Lucy is a senior associate solicitor uh, within JMW's intellectual property department, and Lucy is based at our London office. So, Lucy, uh, Facebook's parent company has rebranded as Meta, but there appears to be an allegation of trademark infringement. Can you just give us an idea of, of what's happened, please? Yeah, sure. So you're right, Dominic. Back on the 21st of October, Mark Zuckerberg announced that Facebook's parent company, previously Facebook, will be changing its name to Meta. And this new name is meant to be a nod to Facebook's future, which is the creation of a metaverse. Now, what's happened is that there's now some trademark litigation on foot because Surprisingly, the name Meta is quite popular, and um, there's a company out there in Arizona, based in Arizona, called Meta PCs, and they hold a trademark in respect of Class 9, which covers computers and software. So here, place Facebook's new name is clearly very similar, and it's been used in respect of a range of goods and services but some of those are identical to meta PCs. And therefore, what we have here is the, the classic key ingredient for a trademark infringement claim. Clearly, meta PCs are very disgruntled by Facebook's new name, and they've been reported as saying that they won't sell their brand for anything less than 20 million. So it could be quite expensive for Facebook. A rebrand can be expensive in terms of time and money. Uh, when you start throwing in $20 million as well, it can be even more expensive. Is it important for a business to do some research to protect themselves against uh, any potential infringement? Any business considering a rebrand should obtain prior rights searches. And what these searches do is they can highlight the likelihood of your new brand giving rise to any future litigation based upon there being similar name brands out there used by other companies. And what this means is that before you spend money on your rebrand, you have a very clear picture of any risks out there and you can potentially avoid costly disputes. The good thing about prior rights searches that they're relatively inexpensive too and this is something that i regularly help my clients with i suspect in facebook's case that they would have undertaken prior right searches but they've decided to take a calculated risk and they must be very wedded to the name meta and you mentioned prior rights searches so Maybe I know the answer to that, the next question, but can JMW's intellectual property department help a business that are thinking of rebranding to protect the, the business in those terms? Yes. So typically what we do is we have a look at your business and we would assess precisely what IP rights you have. Um, for example, even if you don't have a trademark, but you're using a particular brand, you may have the unregistered right of passing off. And then if you are thinking about adopting a new brand and, for example, applying for a trademark, we, we can do prior right searches. And if that prior right search indicates an acceptable level of risk, we can then proceed to apply for a trademark for you. And we can professionally draft your trademark to ensure that you've got the maximum protection and we've covered off not just your current route use of the mark but also we can look to the future and make sure that any future uses are covered off. A really important thing as well with drafting a trademark professionally is that we can ensure that your mark doesn't fall foul of the intellectual property basic requirements for a trademark. So for example marks um, which are descriptive, are typically not allowed onto the register. So if you apply for the mark Apple in respect of apples, that's likely to be refused. And we can help navigate our, your way around that. Lucy, thank you very much for your insight. And if you'd like to contact Lucy and the intellectual property team, uh, you can email insideman at jmw.co.uk or call 0161 82 81 999. I'm Dominic Walker, JMW's Inside Man.